In this tutorial, we will look at unregistered land. Not all land in England and Wales is registered. Under the Land Registration Act 2002, there are a number of qualifying dispositions which are defined transactions which, when they take place, must be completed by registration. These dispositions are the transfer of freehold land, the grant of a lease for more than seven years, an assignment of a lease with more than seven years left to run, and the grant of a first legal mortgage. The dispositions involving leases only give rise to a requirement to register the leasehold title and not the freehold. In order to ascertain whether land is registered, it is possible to submit a plan to the land registry and carry out a search of the index map. The land registry returns a result showing all of the titles which are registered concerning the physical land searched. We'll look now at unregistered land and the peculiarities which are encountered when dealing with the conveyancing of unregistered land. When selling unregistered land, the obligation is on the seller to deduce his title to the buyer. The seller does this by producing copies of the title deeds showing an unbroken chain of title stretching back for at least 15 years. This is known as the good root of title. If the property has not been sold for many years, the root of title may be much longer. If a short route is accepted, the buyer runs the risk that he may find himself bound by encumbrances which predate the route and which he is unable to discover or investigate. The route of title deals with both legal and beneficial ownership of the property, does not contain anything to cast any doubt on the seller's title, and contains an adequate description of the property, 